Hi, hello, and all the greetings. I am so excited you guys are here today. It is time for a video that I have been super set excited to make for quite a while now. Um, we are going to be doing a head-to-head -head battle between two very special albums. We are going to be taking a look at the original soundtrack, the OST for Imitation. I have both versions the Sparkling and the Shax versions, um, I thought, since they are the same album, we're just gonna put them head to head in my usual grading rubric and see who officially, finally, comes out on top. I am not the <laughs> final arbiter of that, but this is going to be what I think. I'm real excited. Let's get into this. Never really looked at anything side by side like this before. Um, I didn't say it before, but hi, hello, all the greetings. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you watched Imitation or if you didn't watch Imitation, I'm still super excited to have you here and excited to take a look at these because they have been sitting on my shelf for quite a little bit. While you're here, take the time, subscribe, like, comment down below. Let me know, what did you think of this show? I have opinions. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to state them here, but let's go ahead and first talk about the packaging. Both of these things have the same outer packaging as one would expect from literally the same soundtrack. I just have two different versions of it. Hopefully that means the photo books are different. Um, yeah, they both come in these really cute little zippy pouches, but they're like very solid, um, which unfortunately means I know some of the gifts that I have inside. Boo. Hopefully there's photo cards in here somewhere though that will be um, su a surprise to me. So packaging, instead of doing my normal random numbers, uh, we're going to just say who wins, but you know what? I'm packaging. I'm just going to have to go ahead. They're the same. So it's a draw. Draw for packaging. So here is where we're really going to get deep down into it. Um, we're going to talk about the concepts for each album, which is basically going to be about talking about the concepts for each group, which I'm really excited about. Let's start with Sparkling. Okay, so I guess this is the photo book, so we don't need to look at the CD portion. Yep, that's just the CD. Okay, so we don't need to look at that portion. We're going to be looking at Sparkling Photo Book versus the Shax Photo Book. Ooh, the difference. Okay, Sparkling first. I'll move Shax off to the side here. Okay, um, we have the refreshing pastel colors, which Sparkling is known for. <laughs> the bubbly circles we love. Ooh, I already have. Oh, this is a gift. Okay, I'm moving it off to the side. Okay. Don't get too excited. Okay. We have our little bubbles and our little four stars, which I believe probably represent all four members. Oh, interesting. I can't read Korean, so I don't know what they say in some places but I wonder if it's just the sparkling songs on the <laughs> if it's just the sparkling songs on this and the other one just has the shack songs and then like there's instrumental versions of things oh wow so I guess it probably is a good thing that I ended up getting <laughs> all of these okay well when I get to music um I'll look through my translate first and I will see what the other songs are we start off hecka strong with Eugen. Um, there's a little talk talk thing. Talk talk is the um, fandom for sparkling and there's like a little heart. I don't know what it means but that's exciting. Um, and we have you know playing Eugen. Love him so much. And we have Hyono. Um, I forget the actor's name because I am entirely garbage but he was wonderful very good at making us like angry at him but like i loved him so much working with the 80s members like minzu played by san um yeah he's giving what he gives as san like look at his face 
that's not freshness that's i'm about to destroy your face i love it oh so good i wonder if talk talk does like a little thing here theoretically and then say young is played by our wonderful sangwa i don't i have such mixed feelings about this little onesie that they gave him um and they have their little practice Ooh, some of them. Okay, Yunho and Sangwa have their little practice thingies on. Interesting. I guess it's from like a specific scene, so that makes sense. But yeah, so these are like not behind the scenes photos, but you know, photos from the shoot. But oh, they're so good. Whoever took behind the scenes photos of this genius. And they I feel like they inserted a lot of oh he's making hearts. I feel like they inserted a lot of really good, like, if this was 80s, like, Atony would be scrolled all over this thing. So the fact that Talk Talk is everywhere is really, is really smart. Oh, sir. A wonderful face. Good job, bud. <laughs> I love it. It was so interesting just to watch them as a different group, you know? Um, and then here is their performance at the finale of the last episode of the show. But it was so interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot they did like a little photo shoot. Super cute. There was like a storyline where they did a little magazine photo shoot and I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that that was included. Super cute, okay. All right, sparkling, you're a contender so far. Let me slip this over with my other gifts. Okay, sparkling, good showing so far. Let's move on to Shax. All right, so where sparkling is supposed to bring us the freshness, Shax is supposed to be like dark, intense concepts. Devil Shax, Sons of the Devil, ha ha ha. Um, even the album is called Devil Shax and it looks like I got another one of these. I want to slip into the thing with my other gifts to open in a little bit, but let's check out the concept. You know, it's going to be like dark. Ooh. Okay, so we have all the boys on stage. Let's see, if Chani is there, it means that, okay, I don't believe Chani is there, so it means that it's after he left. Yep, okay. I wonder if he'll be in here at all then. Okay, yeah, so this one has all of the Shaq songs. So if I didn't get this version, I wouldn't have had the Shaq songs, which is depressing, because actually, we'll talk about it later, okay. <laughs> um, Quan Rook, I can't say his name. Quan Rook, Quan, Quan Rook, I can't say it. Um, the actor who plays him is simply gorgeous, and I love him. Um, yes. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love him at first, but he grew on me. I don't think they ever mentioned, okay, so Unjo is Chani, so he's there. Does that mean he was there and I just missed him? Yes, I wasn't paying attention. There's Chani. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay. Um, yeah, they did such a good job. Yeah, I don't think they ever gave a name to... Oh no, wait, they did their fins. Oh, it doesn't say fins all over the place. Interesting. So maybe like sparkling is more about talk talk. Anyway, um, Dojin, this actor also did a really good job. This isn't, we haven't reached. What am I doing? Where's my brain? Yeah, we haven't reached Newman. Okay. All of the actors in Shacks did a really, really good job. I like how they have like their before and then their after. They're on stage and they're kind of off stage personas portrayed because they're very different, I feel like. And they go through like a big form of change in the show, you know? Oh my god, he looked so good. Can we just. I'll leave him there for a second. He did such a good job. Um. Yeah, so good. And then, of course, Hyuk, baby Jung Ho, um, once again being strong maknae. They really picked a great 
they really picked a great um, actor for that part. And I'm like, look at him in this, like, stick. look at the shoulders there. Do we see? Oh, insanity. And then there at the end, when they're all happy, seen together on the stage. Oh, oh my goodness. Shacks. And then, yep, got all our members. It doesn't say fins anywhere, which I find super fascinating. Because that, like was throughout the show, but I feel like they hardly mentioned Talk Talk, and they were in, ooh, the sparkling one a lot. Okay, as far as, like, outfits and concept and everything like that go, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with Team Shacks there, but I really do appreciate the representation of the fandom in the sparkling photo book. It felt really realistic and nice. Okay, so now we're going to talk about gifts, and I feel like I probably got the same amount of gifts in each album, I would hope. So this is what I found was like a little bracelet. It even has a sticky thing that I'm never going to take off. Can you imagine putting this on? I would never want to do that. I'd end up destroying it, but anyway. Um, adorable little fan bracelet for like, oh yeah, I went to like a sparkly meet and greet. Oh my God, that'd be so great. And then finally, I've been dying to open. I've been dying to open this keychain. It's just been staring at me for months and months and months. Okay. Okay, let's see if it's good. Ooh, this is a nice quality keychain. Oh, and even like the sparkling is actually sparkling and raised. Um, I love this. This is so great. And then we have our official Talk Talk fanship card, which of course we're Talk Talks here. Mary to me, we are Talk Talk. Oh, I love this. So it's like see through here, shiny silver. It says official membership card, star star Talk Talk. Oh, rainbow. Nice. Okay. Then on the back side, it says sparkling fanship card, and then there's where you would sign. And then it says something in Korean that I cannot read. I'm garbage, but wonderful. And then I'm going to open up this thing just to make sure it's not just the album and like maybe see it even says on the back sparkling album kit. Beautiful. I just, I wish we also got a tea party one. Am I crazy? <gasps> okay. So we're going to have a photo card, maybe a whole set of photo cards. That would be genius. But we first have a poster. So we have all of the song lyrics on here. Wonderful. La 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 la. A lot of la la la's and a lot of breakdowns, but that's okay. And then we have sparkling. I remember watching the behind the scenes where they took this picture. Um, I love their outfits in theory, not so much in practice and or execution with the little, the onesies. They, onesies are very iffy. They can either look really great or they can be a little bit not super flattering. So I wish they'd chosen other outfits, but you know what? These boys make anything look great. So it worked out in the end, but I love my little sparkling poster. That tucks nicely into there. And then, okay, we'll see if this is like multiple cards. How many is it? Oh, it's two. Ooh, I wonder if they're different in every album. Oh my gosh. I didn't get you know, but that's okay. They are different in every album. Oh my God, it's just like opening, a I know this is a real album, but it's just like opening like a not OST album. Does that make sense? Oh, that's so fun. I love that they did that. Okay, great. Okay. Ooh. So hopefully that means I got the same kind of thing going on in the Shaxx album. Let's find out. This isn't really TikTok. I can't do transitions, but that's okay. So we have our, I haven't seen the bracelet for Shaxx. Ooh. We have all of our members. 
And I know that if I get a photo card and I don't get Hyuk or Chani's character, I'm gonna be really sad, but that's okay. Okay, so we have our official keychain for Shaxx, which I actually really love. Oh, I mean, I love the sparkling one, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this one has more information. Like it has their debut date, which is April 4th, it has their phrase, which is double shacks. It has all of their members on it. Ooh, I might like this keychain better. And it's got a gold clippy. Because so we gotta be different. <laughs> okay, and then double shacks. And I was going to say, yeah, it says fins. Okay, so this is the official fin card. Shacks really big on the front. Double shacks. All the members' names. Fins signature official membership for Fins. Ooh, very nice. I might like the sparkling card of this better. So like, ooh, it might be down to if I get photo cards and a poster or not. Wait, what does it say on here? Yeah, Shaq's album kit. Okay. That oh, makes me wish there was a tea party one. Okay. Oh. I think I saw who I got, but I wasn't paying too hard of attention. Okay. Also, my eyesight is so bad, guys. It's really bad. <gasps> Ooh, so we got a poster. Unfortunately, it is not one when it is all six members, so Chani is not on it. But, oh, man. So, yeah, we have all of the lyrics for all of the Shack songs, which there were more Shack songs than anything else in this um in this show so but i really love the shacks poster um they look great okay, nice job. okay i came for i came for the ats and i stayed for the rest of the show that's all i'm saying so great poster okay and we should have two photo cards which i feel like should be three if there's more members oh my god <gasps> Three photo cards. Oh shoot! One for every two members. Okay. So we have Quan Kyok. If I can say his name correctly. We have our little baby boy from SF9, and we have. Oh, I'm gonna be real sad if this isn't Jong Ho. Wait a minute. Do I mix everyone up? Or are there two members from SF9? Okay, I clearly don't remember what happened during invitation. Anyway, um, sad I didn't get Jong Ho, but look at these little photo cards. I love them. And I got three. <laughs> I was kind of making a joke, but I was like, there better be three, and there were three. Okay, so, sparkling gift kit. Shacks. Show saw in there. Make, make it fair. Sparkling gift kit, chef. Oh no, I dropped the baby. Or not the youngest, but you know, okay. Shaq's gift kit. Two, two, two. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, you guys can't see any of that. Let me fix there. There we go. Okay. So. Ooh, this is going to be a toughie, guys. Okay. In terms of gifts, I feel like overall, I like the Shaq's keychain better and the poster better. I like the sparkling membership card better and kind of the bracelet. But like the bracelets make sense for each group, I don't know. It feels like a draw. I don't know, the glitter on the keychain and the sparkling membership, the Tok Tok card are kind of calling to me. They feel more fandom inclusive. Does that make sense? <laughs> So I'm going to give gifts to Sparkling because you know what? Yeah, I make the rules around here. 
get to go to sparkling. So now we're officially out here, not kidding ourselves about um, which music was better, unfortunately. Sorry, sparkling. They had one song, um, but that's kind of, you know, how the show was supposed to be, is that sparkling was an up and coming group. They didn't really, they were working on finding their footing and they were having a lot of struggles and Shax was the more experienced and more established group. So it goes to make sense that Shax would have the better music in terms of the two groups and also Jonghyun's voice is in all the Shaq songs, so like brings it to another level. Rip. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know. Um, I also wish there again. I wish there was a tea party version of this album. It kind of would have been cool to have all three, but I am glad to have the ones that I have here. So I feel like, in terms of results. Let me think on it for a second. Actually, no, I don't have to think on it. Okay. When it comes to the results of which album is better, it's obviously Shax. Um, when it comes to the results of, you know, the end of the show, I feel like we all win. Because we got to watch 80s and SF9 members act in a show together and they had a good time. Was the ending of the show good or realistic? No, I will not say that at all. But you know what? We all win because The real K-pop was inside of us all along. Yep. The real K-pop was the friends. We made along the way. <laughs> I hate myself for saying that and for writing it in this book. Um, did you guys watch all of Imitation? I almost didn't finish it just because I knew how it was going to end. But you know, you hang in there for your boys. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought of the show down below in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye!